In this video, we're gonna learn something really cool. We're gonna find out how many balloons Carl Fredrickson from Up needed to make his house float. First, you might be wondering, what makes a balloon float up? Helium is a gas that's lighter than air. So if you put helium in a balloon, it'll make the balloon float up. Squirrel! Did you know that hydrogen is even lighter than helium? Well, you can't put hydrogen in balloons because hydrogen is very flammable. Wait, I just had an idea. So I'm gonna hold my hand out like this. And then future Jesse is going to put the words hydrogen and start it on fire. Come on, dude. Fine. Each helium-filled balloon can lift about 14 grams. That might not seem like a lot, but it's enough to lift a small toy car. If you keep attaching enough helium balloons to a heavy object, eventually it'll have enough lifting power to make the object fly away. Carl Fredrickson has a big two-story house that probably weighs over 400,000 pounds. Carl would have needed to use over 12.8 million balloons to make his house fly. But wait! We are not considering the weight of the balloons, the string, Mr. Fredrickson, or the furniture in the house. It likely took way more than 12.8 million balloons to make Carl Fredrickson's house float up. 